Hello and welcome to the Gaggle Bobby Challenge and if necessary, destroy media narratives. I'm George Samueli. With me today, of course, is co-founder of the Gaggle, Peter Lavelle. So Peter, um, Sweden, which is on the brink, on the brink of um, entry into NATO, has just announced that it's closing its uh, Nord Stream uh, investigation. Apparently, it just can't get anywhere with this... Um, investigation it just it just it's been now 18 months since the uh the destruction of the Nord Stream gas pipelines the, probably the most significant largest act of terrorism uh, industrial terrorism yeah. in history in history yeah yeah but it just you know it's it's it just can't get anywhere so here then is the article in um in Politico today, you know, announcing this um, this shocking development. It says Sweden drops Nord Stream sabotage probe. Stockholm's decision to end its inquiries leaves it to Berlin and Copenhagen to work out who was responsible for the blasts. Are, do you have a lot of faith in Berlin and Copenhagen, George? Not really. <laughs> not not really. really. I mean... But... I mean, the strange thing is they're not really getting anywhere. I mean, all, all this time, um, you know, we, we, we had all these interesting stories. You remember all these interesting developments, but none of them seems to have panned out. I mean, well, don't you get the impression, George, quite seriously, they spent all their time covering it up, not investigating. I, I get that. I get that impression, too, that it's, this is more a cover up than an investigation. So it says here, Sweden is ending its investigation into the mysterious. Mysterious. <laughs> it was just, it was very mysterious. It was, a, it was a mystery. Explosions that blew up the undersea Nord Stream pipelines after concluding the country's courts do not have jurisdiction over the case. Hmm. In a statement issued Wednesday, Swedish prosecutor Mats Jungqvist said, Officials had concluded the probe should be discontinued after a systematic and thorough investigation. Well, are they going to reveal what they <laughs> their findings? Yeah, and well, thoroughly I'll, investigated. <laughs> yeah, let, can we see the findings? Um, you know what? What? What have you found? However, he he added the Germany. Well, I'm, 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 I'm sorry, but um, what what does this have to do with jurisdiction? Yeah, I, mean, I, can, I, I was puzzled by that. I don't know. Well, what, I mean, what, what, can you just, I mean, it, this is implying that you were, you're going to charge somebody or, you know, somebody, <laughs> yeah. you're going to put blame on the, well, why don't you just tell us what happened and let right. whoever has the jurisdiction to do it, but just tell us what you know, what you know happened. What, well, why that's, why, that, yeah. that's just blurring it. I mean, it's like, why is that there? I don't, I don't understand that either because if you didn't have jurisdiction, then why were you investing? Why are you doing it? Right, right. Um, however, he added that Germany's inquiries are ongoing, but, quote, due to the secrecy that prevails in international legal cooperation, he was unable to comment further on the details unearthed by either side. Why is That's... it secret? Why <laughs> is it know. secret? I've never heard about secrecy in international legal cooperation. Why is it a secret? I, I, I don't think I don't think it's at all secret. I mean, you know, we hear blow by blow accounts about how they're going to investigate Russia over Ukraine and so on. I, I no one is saying, well, we got to keep mum. We got to we, we can't can't talk about these things. Um, so what I mean, international legal cooperation. I don't you know what you know, why? Why can't they provide provide us with information as to where you had 18 months? What have you been doing for 18 months? I mean, you must have found something. Um, but um, uh, I mean, when, it, when, it, when, it, when it, instead of talking about secrecy, why don't we talk about transparency? Right. Along with Berlin and Stockholm, Copenhagen has also launched an investigation into the two blasts that destroyed three of the four strands of the Nord Stream 1 and 2 pipelines, which connected Russia's Siberian gas fields to Germany through the Baltic. But the explosions remain shrouded in mystery. It's shrouded in mystery. As investigators have so far been unable to identify a culprit. So well, this you is... know, George and I have been over this ground here before. I'm not, and I don't want to just go into the weeds here, but 
it's a pretty limited number of people that could have done this. Okay? Right. I don't think we're investigating Uganda. Okay. You can take them off the list. Okay. Seychelles, I think you can take them off the list. We could go and on and on. And, on. and then you're going to get to the four or five actors that could do it. Okay. Hmm. It's so, also- I mean, this is, you know, unable to identify. Okay. Well, it's a, it, the, the pool is small. <laughs> yes yes that's right the 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 odd thing is that this is also a very highly surveilled part of the world lots of satellites up there you know this is you know this is the baltic you know it's a big big security. there are military uh, maneuvers yeah. conducted almost every year so yeah. there's there's going to be a lot of, of uh, digital footprints everywhere i was i, I would think um Sweden and Denmark have labeled it a deliberate act of sabotage. What about Germany? So Germany doesn't think it was a deliberate act of sabotage. They just think what it was an act well, of. Well, why do they? Why, why have they labeled it? I that's mean, a, what do you know to label it as a deliberate act? That's a, How do you point. determine that? How did you determine that? Absolutely right. And maybe Sweden, it was an accident, but you no, no, no. We think it was a deliberate based on what evidence that you right. gathered that makes that's you right. come to the conclusion it was a deliberate act of sabotage. Yeah, exactly. And Swedish prosecutors later found traces of explosives at the site of the blast. So how many people, the cul- how many culprits have access to those explosives? And, and indeed, who, who know how to do something as elaborate as basically in-depth, very deep sea diving and, uh, and placing explosives on these pipelines. German investigators, meanwhile, have traced the explosives back to a yacht. Oh, the yacht story again. Okay. Which they suspect was used to transport them to the blast site. Oh, the okay. yacht. Okay, Gilligan's Island. Okay, you know, the, the, the minnow. <laughs> the, the, the minnow was involved in this here. <laughs> a yacht. A yacht. A yacht did this, George. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, so that, that's 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 right. They 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 they, they suspect this. But of course. As far as I know, the, Germany hasn't made any official de- statement. It was this yacht or anything like that. I mean, all this is just sort of leaked to the media. I mean, we, we haven't had any, you know, official news conference in which they presented their preliminary findings. Isn't that like amazing, that. George? Now, yeah. one a press conference about right. this. Not one. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um. Several countries have been publicly blamed for the explosions with varying degrees of evidence. Ukraine has blamed Russia for the bombing, and Poland has also hinted that Moscow was responsible, um, which the Kremlin has denied. Now, you remember Radek Sikorsky said, thank you, United States. So it's not quite true to say, now admittedly he wasn't in the government at the time, but it's not quite true to say that Poland has suggested Moscow was responsible. Well, you know, that, uh, you know, Radek Sikorsky, the former Polish foreign minister and defense minister, suggested it was the United States. Um, Moscow's version is that the UK is to blame instead without presenting any evidence to support the assertion. Notice, they only put that in for Moscow. I mean, they, all the rest, they never say, well, but, but Poland hasn't presented any evidence, or Ukraine hasn't presented any evidence, but Moscow has yet to present uh, evidence to support the assertion. I thought they did present some evidence, didn't they? Um, wasn't there some phone call that with uh, Liz Truss or something like that? Um, yeah, yeah, um, um, yeah. Some, she, something like that. I mean, he, he call, it, she called Blinken. I think. Yeah, that some. Yeah, that that that's right. I mean, it, it wasn't especially compelling, but nonetheless, it was. You well, can't it, say they okay, presented will, no as, as, as evidence. The come on, everybody. We know who did it. Okay. You know, George and I are going through the motions here, okay? But every the person that wrote this article knows who did it, okay? Yeah. The Swedes know who did it. The Germans know who did it. The Poles know who did it, okay? <laughs> Everybody knows. Well, that's right. That claim has been dismissed as, quote, invented, unquote, by the British Defense Ministry. A okay, reliable source there, right? Okay. <laughs> invented. Um, media reports from the New York Times and several German publications have also raised the possibility that a pro-Ukrainian group could have been behind the 
Yeah, and the, and the and the guy in the pro Ukrainian group is already on trial for something else. So, but you know, it's that's essentially right, exactly, quite, yeah, quite, yeah, blame yeah. the dead man. Okay, that's that's right, Ex exactly. Yeah, yeah, we we did that. That that guy that they they pinned it on. Um, um, but I like that when they say a pro Ukraine, they don't want to say the Ukrainians were behind this. They say a pro Ukrainian group. So a pro Ukrainian go, hey, why don't we just blow up the Nord Stream pipelines? You know, it should be pretty easy. Okay, well, let's go. I mean, let's go do if it. we if we want to take this sentence literally, um, several German publications have also raised the possibility that a pro Ukrainian group, the United States of America, is <laughs> definitely a pro Ukrainian group. Um, so. That, you know, the, uh, w you have to then wonder when um, is Germany also going to announce that we're closing the investigation because. Um, well, the, now they have it's, they have an opening. The Swedes right. did it. Yeah, that's right. And then Copenhagen saying we just can't get anywhere. I mean, it's just uh, it's just one of those things. It's a mystery. It's it's a it's one of these enigmas. You know, wrapped in a riddle, in, in encased in a in a in a mystery or whatever, whatever the the, the phrase. Nobody is. can ever ever get that one right. I can't. I no, never. I, get I, it right. I can never remember that. The I never get it sequence. right. Sequence. Uh, <laughs> but but what is um, striking is that there there are all, there are all these cases that we just don't get anywhere. Like we like the um, the pipe bombers. You think this is pretty serious? You have a pipe bomber. Um, you know, put a put a bomb on January the fifth, the D the DNC headquarters, the RNC headquarters, and they just can't get anywhere. You know, I mean, can you imagine anything as as serious as terrorism? We know how serious the Americans say terrorism. I, I, you know, we can yeah, find every grannies. every grandmother <laughs> with blue hair and a uh, and a walker was found in the, across the United States. Right, across the, the United States, they were just uh, uh, Hawaii, you know, it was a, and, you know, uh, you know. It was a web. You know, just rolled out, okay, for January six. Right, so. right. But you can't find the pipe bombers. Um, uh, have, you, so have you seen? I think it's is it revolver? I Re don't know uh, yeah, revolver news. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Right. Uh, they put they've dropped a few videos. That's it's, right. Yeah, which yeah, it's, it's, it got that. That's just right. extraordinary. Extraordinary. Just, yeah, yeah. Extraordinary. It is. It is. But they can't. They can't. They can't get it. Even though the guy was making it, the the guy the suspect. Was making a, a a phone call. I mean, we yeah, we actually see the footage of making a phone call, but they can't find they can't find the number that he was uh, dialing. Well, George, you know, yeah, I just don't want to belabor the point because it's just absurd. In all of the articles, I have to remember back, you know, eighteen months. Okay, but but, but very, nobody in the mainstream for sure. What is the depth of these pipelines? Who uh, knows? Uh, okay. Yeah. What is the, how cold is it on that day of the year traditionally? The, 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 okay. deep, the deeper you go, okay. it so, gets I mean, so cold. Yeah. It's pretty deep. Okay, yeah. so uh, if you're on a yacht and you have a basic scuba de uh, gear, how far can you go? Down? I don't think so. You need you need high pressure. Um, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. you know how do you stabilize the boat? I mean, how the pipelines? How thick are they? How much explosive would be necessary? to right. destroy a pipeline okay right. did we ever get any of that no no no, no. There, there, there's never a forensic you know let's just you know let's not talk about who did it okay how was it done let's go first how was it done they don't even want to go there no no they, so instead they went through that that yacht story but the yacht story was always so ridiculous because how can you get enough explosives on a yacht I mean, and you need a lot of explosive to destroy uh, these pipelines. And how do they? How the hell did they get those explosive down? I mean, they, you know, somebody had to do the deep sea diving with a lot of heavy equipment to get all that explosive down um, where the pipelines. Lay. And how? And, and something that deep, and it's electronically rigged through right. a satellite. Right. Right. So you're you're telling me a couple scuba divers and a nurse. <laughs> okay, they found fragments. Well, what what kind of explosive right. was it? Where can you get that? Who has access to it? I'm asking the simplest questions here. That's right. That's and right. and all of the articles that George and I have discussed, because that's what we do here, never go in that direction. Right. Right. Well, absolutely. Absolutely. You know, you know, that's right. Who who has access to these um uh explosives? <laughs> so, no, I mean these are obvious questions. 
They have 18 months um, to investigate, and they've got nothing other than these uh, few perfunctory stories that appeared about the yacht, uh, some pro-Ukrainian group, um, and, and there was some kind of a hottie, one a girl, a very a hot girl in a bikini, uh, was one, one of the, uh, <laughs> the uh, terrorists involved, terrorists or whatever they are involved. It's, it's, oh, it's non nonsensical. Of course they have to do that. A little bit of color here. Yeah, okay. exactly. Um, okay, they have a blonde in a bikini. Oh, that just adds to the story. And it gets you away from what actually happened, right. okay? It's exactly. always diverting yourself. Oh, right. Show us a picture, please. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's another thing. Yeah, no, 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 no pictures. Um, I, it, it's, it's, it's obviously so absurd. And that's what, and, and the reason they, that they can pull these off is that we have a media that if, uh, are fundamentally incurious about such events. They don't really press this. They don't really probe any, any of this. Um, they don't really do any serious uh, investigation. Um, they don't press the German government. Hey, can, you, can you give us some more information? I mean, you've been looking into this for, for all this time. What have you found? I mean, can, can we at least see some, some of your findings? George, we did it. I think it was last week we did... Uh... We did an article on the German economy, remember? Yeah. Yeah. And they were we we're talking about uh, the article goes into depth about the cost of energy and how it's slowing down Germany's uh, economic um, growth. And in that article, talking about how expensive energy is for German enterprises, there's not one line that talks about why energy is so expensive. Right. And at one time it was relatively cheap. They they never go in that direction. Right. It's such a gaping hole right. in their so-called analysis. Right, right, right. But what you're the one you're the one that pointed it out. What about Nord Stream? You're the one that went. That's that right. That. But what's also funny is that the, the as you suggest the 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 people who are most culpable um are the ones that you know they don't even get mentioned like in this political article, they don't even get mentioned so you know we start off with biden's famous comment um you know it's just we're gonna we're gonna just end the Nord stream project um we have um you remember victoria newland saying we're very happy that Nord stream is just a pile of uh rusting junk at the bottom of the uh the sea um, we have Blinken saying this is a wonderful opportunity for Europe to become uh, independent of uh, Russian energy. So you've got all these statements, um, but somehow you can't, you know, join the dots together. So, you know, it I mean, this is the, the most obvious suspect, you know, means, motive, opportunity. Um, no, no, some yacht, uh, some pro-Ukrainian guys, a hot babe in a bikini. Yeah, that that's a more likely uh, a story. So. <laughs> but, well, what they they yeah. just want to they just want to wrap it up. Okay, that's it. Okay, they've spent eighteen months covering up. That's the only thing. That, I mean, prove me wrong. Okay, they they have no interest in figuring out who did it because everybody does know who did it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and. And, and, and this is the quality of the media right now. Okay, right. you know they, you know the, the, the look at their coverage of, of Gaza. You know, um, uh, three young people were killed. Well, no, they were children, and who killed them? Right. It's right. left unknown. Who did right. it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it, no, every it, it, it's ubiquitous all around us. Yeah. All right. No, 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 no. That's right. Um, but they always have to, you know, in all these circumstances, they often have to get the the kick in against Russia. Russia accused um, uh, the UK without presenting any evidence. Yeah, right. Like everyone else has presented evidence. You know, the, we're we're knee deep. Um, in, well, let uh, me let evidence. me tell you something. A military guy told me this here. Not long, uh, um, it was MH uh, MH seventeen, and I, I I told him. I said, look, I mean. The, the Russian military has eyes all over this. They know exactly what happened. They said they will, they just will never expose what they know and how they know it. Okay. And even with these horrific accusations, they said that that's where they draw the line. They will not show their means and abilities. They keep that as, that is far more important than anything else, even in a tragedy like MH17. And I, I have to feel that exactly the same way. They have a very good idea exactly what happened in Nord Stream, but they keep their their intelligence to themselves. Well, that may, That's what he said. That's what he said. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I mean, I, I, I understand that argument. I mean, if if that is what the Russians are thinking, I think it's a mistake. I think they should publicize this, and you know, okay, 
you know, yeah, you're revealing um, secrets, but then you could change things. I mean, you know, yeah, you're revealing something about your satellites and so on. Okay, you're, then you change, you change the your satellite orbit, whatever. That's what I said to him. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I said. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, no surprise here. Okay, so Sergeant Schultz is going to take the Swedish lead and say, well, we're going to wrap up our stew. We haven't heard anything from Copenhagen. So, you know, <laughs> the, 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 this, you know, as Douglas MacArthur said on the U.S. Missouri um, with the Japanese who are under, these proceedings are closed. It's it's, you see it's, that. it's it's a wonderful it's on YouTube. Got to see it. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 very, you know, it's I mean, the way these mysteries I mean, like it's a little bit like um, uh, the, like the USS Liberty. You know, it's like there it is. It's it's there since 1967. This extraordinary event, the destruction, extremely well documented too. <laughs> but I mean, minute by minute by minute, the, and 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 then the the radio signals and what was said. It's all out. It's everything is there, yeah. and it's like a huge rabbit hole. That's right. It is a rabbit hole because anyone who goes down that path is either a crackpot and a conspiracy theorist or a rabid anti-Semite or all three. Um, so you know, that's it. So it's just hands off. You know, lay, you know, it's, you know, and no, no one ever brings it up. I'm willing okay. to say right now. So what are George and I talking about? This was a, a, a communication ship in 1967 during the 67 war. And the Israelis attacked it and killed American personnel. And Johnson did want did not want to pursue it. Okay, he left it alone. Everything I said there is absolutely true. And the details, if you just have a mild interest, you can find out everything within minutes. Yeah, yeah. Well, well you know, it's not, so it's going to be like this. You know, the hate. You know, the, this uh, the Nord Stream will be like that, and then anyone when people will come back to it in years to come, and they will be dubbed conspiracy theorists. You know, yeah, you but you know, you know, you and I, for obvious reasons, have ended up not because out of choice, but because of necessity. We talk a lot about German Germany and German history and all that. All I can say is, you know, you know, this how humiliating is this for you? I mean, do you, do you have any sense of pride whatsoever anymore? You know, you know, George and I, you know, on a good day or a bad day, can take different. You know, shots at the Germans. Okay, fair enough. History deserves it makes that possible and, and and necessary. But you know, how humiliating is it for you to 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 just cow tow to and everybody? It's like the emperor with no clothes. I mean, right. they just you know, Schultz walks around nude all the time. Right. You know, and la everybody's right. laughing at him. Yeah, no, I, I, exactly. That's Germany. You know, you're holding the job once held by Bismarck. You know, held he, by an hour. I don't know. He was a mean son of a bitch, but he yeah. was somebody to contend with. I don't know. Hel Helmut Kohl, the man who's got a broad German reunification, and then you have this meek kind of bank manager type, you know, just sitting there, humiliated, right in front of the U.S. president. You know, it's, it's unheard of for any you know a German chancellor to be humiliated like that by the U.S. president. And then, what's his attitude? Please, sir, can I have some more? What was it? Wasn't it Chancellor Schroeder? He had had a following out with Carter. And um, just to show his uh, contempt, uh, Schroeder went on vacation in Florida and Schmidt, did not. Schmidt, not Schroeder. Schmidt, 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 thank, Schmidt you, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Just like, nope. That's right. A yeah. state visit for you. That's okay. right. Okay. Yeah, I remember, I remember that. Yeah, he, he went to Florida. <laughs> just, yeah, I think he just enjoyed the Florida sunshine, not, not coming to Washington. Um, uh, wow, those yeah. were the days, huh? And just wait for wait for um, uh, Annalena Betterbach, three sixty. <laughs> wait until she shows up. Woo! Sure. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, you know they had such hope for Liz Truss, but she screwed it up. You yeah. Know? yeah. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. All righty, George. Okay. Um, I don't know, George. I don't know. Maybe for us, we're going to close the book on this. It, it, it's so frustrating. You know, it just. Because we we're not we're not going to get anywhere. I mean, it's obvious that this is this is it. You know, there'll be no more information uh, that's going to come out, and it's just going to you know, boom. Uh, you know, others are going to take Sweden's lead. Germany is going to you know say yeah, wrapping it up, and then the Danes finally, the Danes, the brave Danes will say yeah, we're we're also <laughs> wrapping it up. All right, case closed. 
Uh, well, so, so Biden can just now worry about being indicted for genocide instead of uh, industrial ter uh, terrorism. Okay. <laughs> you too, Blinken. Blinky. I hate that guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's on his uh, sixth or 10th trip. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well. One hell of a carbon footprint with that guy. Anyway, this is a. Uh, the final chapter, I think like we're signing off, you know, like in okay. Edward R. Morrow in London, you know, <laughs> we're signing off on Nord Stream, <laughs> okay? A mystery for the ages. Exactly, exactly. Mystery for the ages, you know, it's just <laughs> centuries to come, people will be scratching their heads. Well, uh, yeah. Skippy was, you know, waiting for bated breath, you know, are we going to find out what happened? You know, it's just <laughs> been the buzz all day long. What's George think about it? I told him, I said, I'll, I'm going to let George use his own words. So I'm not going to put words in his mouth. See? We're finally going to get there. Look, he's bewildered. He's bewildered. <laughs> bewildered. <laughs> bewildered. All right, everybody. This is The Gaggle with Peter and George. We're on Locals. So please go to thegaggle.locals.com. I'm getting a riot here right now. Uh, this is Wednesday. It means tomorrow. George will have a very, I, I imagine, a very full uh, a live stream like tomorrow. Full live stream, 3 p.m. Eastern time. Please join me. Come with comments, criticisms ideas suggestions on the way out the door think about little buddy and said buddy am i saying I, you know, if i was in charge of the investigation we'd kind of find find out something about what happened you know, you know, like what about the, the tip jar you know what, where, where did all that money go um so um if you have a few bob in your pocket whip them out dunk them in his tip jar that'll um you know cool his ardor we're very grateful for all of your help friendship and support the more you're able to donate the more of these videos we can make, the more we can improve on the technology. And above all, get, get Buddy off this investigation thing. I mean, he, he's, he's, he's like a dog on a, with a bone when he's, on, in, when he's investigating. So remember, if you like the gaggle, please like, share, and subscribe. See you soon. Bye.